It hurts so much, but I can just bring myself to scream out. It's the ghost! Hey, stop! I, uh, why? I just don't get it. I always catch you fuckers watching this sick shit. The latter part. Part 10? The le <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the latter. So today we're gonna continue from where we left off and <laughs> if you're wondering yeah, on on what part did we did we left off? Uh, well I don't know myself because I, I I also haven't played this for you know months now. Well, yeah I, I I last played this on tw on 2017 so uh, 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 months have passed, and now we now we're just continuing it again because I don't want to leave this game on a um, on a on a. Uh, I just want to. I just don't want to cut this off. Uh, the the last play of this, and I'm really enjoying it. So we we might as well continue since um I I, I can't play any, any of the games that needed uh that needed controllers. So we'll just continue with this. Um, so yeah, from I I think from where we left off, we left off with um, Hannah's story, and and now she's just starting to get get haunted. I, I guess we already finished Isabella's um, story, so we we'll just continue with Hannah, and and I think we're 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 and and I think we're already halfway um, through her story. And with that being said, let's do this. Um, I'm just I'm just, I'm I'm just gonna probably put a fancy a, a fancy previously on until dawn. Uh, you know, right 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 before the video start starts. So let's let's do this. Yeah, there you go. Yep. And I also increased the uh, the sound effects so that you know more scares. Curious, this sinks in as they follow the sor the sorrowful sound into the kitchen and into the wine cellar hatch. Hello, is anybody down there? I'm curious and concerned, but there's no way I'm going down to the dark and humid underground. I'm not an, I'm not as enthusiastic as Luke, who considers himself quite the connoisseur. However, I I also cannot bring myself to go to bed with this racket going on. If if it is one of the mo if if it is one of the household help, they will surely need some talking. After this, I, after all, this wouldn't be the first time I've gone and found one of the maids sobbing their eyes out o o over one thing or another. And also, I made my face cam a little smaller because I think if I made it a little bigger, I think. I think I think it's gonna block some of the text, which is not good. As as professional as our staff are, they're still human. More often than not, it was it was either Johan or I who'd who'd calm them down, who'd help them figure out how to go on about things. Fortunately, I am not in high spirits right now, so I'm not as holy holy holy. Holy, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't use that word often. Holy, Be benevol benevolent. So, so wh wh where's the branching tree? So, take a look at the branching tree. This will split the thing, Imajiga. So, if we open it, I'm guessing the the there's there's gonna be our pathway. There we go. You're seeing the cursor right now. Yeah, if I if if I I think if I open it, I'm gonna go th with this route, and there's a bad end right here, so I'm I'm guessing we're gonna encounter the ghost. So we'll do that. <laughs> we're gonna open the hatch. <laughs> Let's do that. I may not be going down, but there's no point in talking through closed doors or hatches in this case. Well, let's take a look at the branching tree. Yeah, I'm right. There's the open the hatch. Um, the thing refused to budge at first, but. Uh, but at first, until there, there's a soft click, and it easily swings free. As I lift up the hatch and look down to the cellar, a sense of uneasiness washes over me. 
it, it is just the sudden onset of vertigo and nausea. But nausea, but also the darkness. It's suffocating. And as I look down, it feels as it feels as if I, it's looking back at me. I worry that something will suddenly pull me into the deep. I can hear her whispering. Calling for me. She wants me. She wants my plump, bulbous body. My beautiful body. Needs me. She wants to drown me, pull me down, and suffocate me in her embrace until I sink it to the bottom. <clears throat> a, di a deep a a abyss waits, inviting yet foreboding. She's calling to me from in there, isn't she? And do I want to help? I do. But the shadows threaten to, to creep out and, and, and a feeling of apprehension keeps me in place. Already it, it, already it paints the room in, in a darker light. Dot dot. There's a lurching sensation, and the feeling that follows after is hard to explain. Feels like I'm watching myself from, from the sidelines, a spectator to my actions, or lack thereof. And I'm gonna keep the videos 30 to 40 minutes long, because I don't want it to go through an hour of uh, game time, because we, we, we don't want that. And I will, my, and I will myself to snap out of this de detached feeling, to move. To do anything except stare at, at myself. For a moment, I see the look of fear in my own face. I'm back in my body, but the hook in my stomach is no longer the only one. There are hooks everywhere, tearing and pulling at my skin, flesh and bones. They pull at me in every direction and it hurts. It hurts so much, but I can just bring myself to scream out. It's the ghost! G! What? What was the QTE? These weird QTEs, man. Holy shite. I wake up from, from a deep slumber. Let's take a look on what will happen if we fail that QTE. Let's take a look if, if, if we fail. Okay, we failed that one. We're also failing that one. Well, what will happen? Let's take a look. Deeper and deeper. I drown. I drown. Game over. Oh, so that's game over. Okay, but I'm just gonna load this one since we 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 are we're we're, we're already done with the QTE. I think. Yep. Okay. And we saw the, and we saw the game over screen, yeah. Six of all with a fog that I sell in my head uh, and with my heavy limbs, but soon enough I managed I managed to look around. I I'm in our bed already, although I do not recall going here. Look, slumbers beside me, looking peaceful and angelic. It doesn't matter. I'm safe and I'm better than ever. Tomorrow, better days will come. September twenty eighth, Friday. Look is already gone by the time I rise. There's, there's, there's isn't a single hide, nor hair of him to be found. And trying to call him on his mobile is a bust, as as it only goes straight to his voicemail. That that's twice in a row he's gone on me. And for him to do to, to disappear today, uh, of all days, is a is every bit upsetting because of what's to come. What their marriage anniversary? The morning is once yet filled with a whirlwind of activity. For fortunately, I am much more refreshed as we. Well, I, I took a break from my responsibilities. I have the fanciest clue where Luke was yesterday. Today is going to be a busy day, although unlike Wednesday, the master of the house isn't here right now. Absence once again from his duties. Hopefully, duties. <laughs> if I need joke. Hopefully, he'll be back in time for, for the party. Party? This is our house after all. A ground house warning party for the wonderful Wright Mansion. Every person of importance from Luxborn is invited and there will be a few guests flying in as well. Of course, there will be some people from the media along with friends and acquaintances of who are, who are made no less important regardless of their status in society. Marianne. Her name is Marianne. Not Marianne. And I discussed business and the last minute touches to the house before finalizing everything. 
Not that there's much change from our from our original plans, but bar any huge additions to the property itself, the mansion is nearly a hundred percent. You have certainly exceeded expectations, Marianne. Everything looks so marvelous, and in such a short time, too. Well, I can't take all of the credit. People have certainly been enthusiastic about the idea of working yeah, on the right mansion. I forgot she's Irish. Yeah, I forgot that she's Irish. There won't be any more problems unless Mr. Wright has any more objections about the second bedroom. Not that there's something wrong of her being Irish, but I just forgot about it. Luke and I had a small tiff about making the second bedroom to a child's playroom, which I insisted is completely practical. In the end, he had to acquiesce, said, acquiesce, 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 fuck me. Acquiesce. I didn't give him any choice in the matter. Even I bought this wonderful wooden crib from the antique store yesterday, including some toys. Just in case anyone brings their baby, of course. Uh, besides, we have little need for actual guest rooms. We hardly have guests to spend the night. If we, have, if we absolutely have to, we often choose to foot the bill for the business of one of our hotels instead. Always at Luke's own insistence. And off the chance that we actually let someone stay, the bedroom in the opposite wing is still up to the test. Oh, no, no. We proceed with that room as planned. I already agreed to him having his greenhouse and his vineyard and his stables. He may as well let me have this one thing. What, uh, the, the baby room? No, I didn't agree to him having a helipad. All right, then. Oh, yeah, yeah, because he insisted that you're putting a helipad on their mansion. Well, do we have any other concerns? Anything we need to put on our agenda before the party commences? No, uh -huh. I don't think so. Not unless Luke has anything else to say. Is he around then? It'd be best if we can note down his request right away, considering the scope of his usual ones. Yeah, she, she, she made it. Uh, she clarified the scope. Yeah, yeah, because you know, looks the guy to do so, so, some bad shit, crazy stuff. Around? No. Where is he? Who knows where? I don't. No, he's not around. She didn't have to point out the, the obvious now, did she? I, I, after seven long years, I've I'd already gotten used to him. I should be by now. Still not apparently. But don't you have a party? Lemon party. I, I want nothing more than to complain to whinge about uh, how, how uh, uh, about how unfair this is. However, airing out. One's dirty laundry is simply taboo among high society. To do so, I'll make you ri I'll make you a ripe target for the next dinner party chit chat. Vultures and a lot of them, really, or most of them at least. There are always the good ones like Rochelle Lee, but put your trust in the wrong person and you find yourself e eagerly picked apart. Mm, yes, but Luke's just being a sweetie, you see. Okay. That friend he's visiting. He's having marital problems, and he's just trying to cheer him up. Perhaps I'm, I'm being a bit too rash. A bit too hot-headed in, the, in divulging details. I, I, thought, I thought myself... But I thought myself clever where they plan to dress it up as gossip. Marianne raised brow to make me unsure whether she's interested or not. Although that does make things better if she has no interest and therefore has no hidden intent... She realized what, 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 whatever I might say they've to her. They've been married for a long time, and they've hit a... How do they say it? A rough patch. His wife has a drinking problem and can be very neglectful. The poor thing really does his best to be a good husband. Pretty sure you're talking about yourself, huh? You're talking about your... You know, your your marriage. You know, you just reversed the role. You know, you, you made the wife had a drinking problem. But it's never enough for her. Sometimes I think it's the years. Maybe it's been so long that they've lost that romantic spark. Probably. What do you think? That happens, but some couples pull through. What do I think of the matter, Mum? Story of No, what do you think of my hair? It feels so lifeless and dull today, and that's no good for a party. And I think now that you mention oh, it, there is something different. And break into uh, and breaking out into zits. There better not be something on my face. I wouldn't worry about that. You do look a little paler than usual, ma'am. Ooh, the ghost. I apologize if I'm crossing any lines here, but have you been resting properly? Huh. Nine. You think I get a bit tanned with how sunny it's been lately. Don't you worry. 
I feel right as rain and never better. Are you sure about that? But back to the matter at hand. You were asking for my personal opinion on the matter, ma'am? Do you want me to be honest or... Be honest. Let's pause here. I'm going to put this here. Let's look at the banjo tree. We're in here now. Yeah. Uh, be honest. Be honest with me, Marianne. I don't need someone to sugarcoat it. Okay, so our relationship with Marianne increased. And um, we're here. Okay. I'm not some fragile thing. <clears throat> I'm just going to break down at the slightest thing. She hesitates, taking a sip of her coffee when I stir it to my own cup of tea. The silence stretches on and I almost believe that she will never answer my question. I suppose that, it's, that I shouldn't blame her. Putting her in a tight spot like this, the, the, the hesitation is understandable. Though I loathe to admit it, she simply wants this whole thing to stay professional. But then she, but then she speaks. Yeah, you know, it, it, it should be professional, but it doesn't mean that, you know, you can't gossip about things. If I'm going to be completely honest, I need to ask. This is about you and Mr. Wright, isn't it? Yas. It's my turn to hesitate now. I really didn't expect such a, such a straightforward... Yeah. You know, Mar Marian, you should have just, you know... Uh, rode, you know, uh, kept the facade. And to get to the heart of the matter, I, I suppose I'm not as clever as, I, as, I, as I'd like to think. Or is or is that or is it really that bad that an insider could see our little marital troubles? Surely we aren't that obvious, aren't we? Are we? We've put up the act of perfect couple for years, although it hadn't been an act, and it had always been an act. Marianne is more keen than the, than the average person, of course. It's a, it, it isn't necessary to her career, and she's br Fuck it. she's been working on us uh, so closely with us. Yeah, those uh, you know tiny flies. Kept going here because of the lights around me. Yeah, that's Suppose it. Suppose it is. What would you tell me? Then, I tell you it's none of my business. I tell you that I don't want to meddle. But, if the troubled husband with the neglectful wife but asked just, me for my honest did. opinion, I'd say that he shouldn't base his happiness and his self-worth on someone else. Someone who won't even give him the time of the day. Maybe he should try being independent for a while. See what it's like when he isn't trying yeah, to get please that someone else and doing things can't. for himself. Everyone's supposed to be their own man or woman, right? A bit of breathing room never hurt anyone. Oh, breathing room. Yeah, so, so Marianne, you know, is 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 instigating, you know? Find some murder man. That's just my two pence worth, of course. Random murder man. So you're saying we, they should divorce? Nothing as drastic as that. You know, just, just some, you know, breathing room. You know, fi find another man. If they're afraid that it might lead to just that, then maybe that is what's meant to happen in the first place. We shouldn't let our fear control our lives. But it's just a short hiatus, is all. Yeah, you know, find, find some other partner, like, you know, like, what's his name? You know, like Zachary, you know, find some Zachary. Or, you know, couples therapy? Look, I'm really not the best person to ask about relationships. So green yeah, of salt and all that. She, she trails off having said her piece there and leaves nothing. But the smell of coffee and Earl Earl yeah, Earl Grey. There's a calm. What you you you're both drinking coffee and tea at the same time. There's a calm d despite the nature of what has b what has just been discussed. The disgust. Disgust. To, to say that that her words make me want to start to think it is an understatement. To say that I'm not considering her advice is a lie. To say that this might just be the calm before the storm is a possibility. Others have had shorter measures, yes, but plenty have ce celebrated long and happy ones as well. My own parents celebrated their coral anniversary before they passed away. But seven years? Seven years isn't a whole lot in, in the grand scheme of things. It isn't a whole lot of time to see what, what and where our rela relationship, relationship can bring us. At the same time, seven years... Well, it hasn't been entirely made up of unhappy years, as it has it? it? It won't last forever. It's not supposed to, anyway. I I, I just dread the thought that it, it might last for a very long time. I dread the thought that these small spats, these little disagreements, will turn into an, an all-out resentment. The idea that we will grow to hate each other with every fiber of our being scares me. 
I, I can't even pinpoint the exact moment when our blissful union turns sour. We can get through this, right? I know that I still do love him, and I feel that, that there's still a part of him that loves me in return. We, we need to get our he heads together and talk it out. Stick at the branch and tree. We've progressed again. And, and now we're gonna have to face some choices. Nah, I'm gonna guess that if we pick this one, so we're gonna go straight instead of going up here. Surely he will see some sense. <clears throat> There's a cough before Marianne clears her throat. It must have been a quiet. I must have been quiet for long, and a, and a move to apologize where she stands up. We both end up on our, on our feet, unsure of how to proceed. Some sort of odd, awkward shuffle occurs as we decide where to sit back. I or or really not. should handle what's left of the work. You won't be attending the party. Oh, you really must, Marianne. I'll try to stay in chat. Maybe grab a few bites and a drink, but a I boy? can't be around for the entirety of the event. My apologies. Busy, busy, busy. You must stay a while. I'd love for you to meet some of my friends, and they're ever so excited to meet you. Pretty sure they're not. You need to say hello to the Lees, at least. The Lee? If it wasn't for them, I'd never even heard of you. We'll see. So, if Foy can be excused? If Foy? Certainly. You'll have to excuse me as well. I must attend to the party before any early birds arrive, because believe me, they will throw a fuss if things aren't ready, mm. even when they're not supposed to be here until an hour later. How about this? It's already getting darker outside. Outside. Uh, another journal entry. Henny, Hannah, and Marianne were seen discussing the mansion's fishing finishing touches before I was running part of the way. And as for a of a couple having marital problems, but it's sure to drink about after excuse of attending the party. The scene outside the parlor is great organized is a great organized mess. Aside from more ha ha household to help, we hired several wait several we hired the service of a temp agent with, with, which provides the staff for white enterprise in the hospitality sector. If, even our very skilled staff cannot undertake as party of this size on their own. Waiters, boy, bus boys, hostesses, and their staff ca captains move, in, move about in d droves, 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 carrying crockery and serveware. Uh, lots of fancy words, man. Good for several dozen people and then some. Chefs and bartenders tail after Johan, look, looking like scared little children, as he, ex as he escorts them through the kitchen and to the wine cellar to pursue the to peruse the stocks, to select what can be served at the party and, co and what can be used for the Snail. cooking. We have a lot to do, and I believe we did not hire snails. Snails are for the dishes. Hoo <laughs> hoo. Little, little, little boy. No, don't do that. I, I, <laughs> a string quarter <laughs> red is up to play for the evening, turning their instruments as they fill the air with idle chatter. Floor decor where thousands fill vase, vases, re wreaths, and baskets, while petals are scattered along the driveway a front. An ice sculpture of a reindeer is brought in by, carefully by a pair. It is followed by a simple cake and... Uh, just a five-tier white chiffon, one with white chocolate mousse, fresh berries, and a light dusting of edible gold leaf. Yeah, fancy. But despite the fact that I told Marianne how, how I will attend all of this, I find myself unable to focus or care for any of it. I still have a discussion running in my mind, and looking after all of this, and looking at all of this, I only see Luke everywhere. These, these are the grand things that Luke wanted to have for the party. Party? I, I had wanted a small, elegant, and a simple gathering with, with only a select few invited. Namely, the people who I actually trust to enter my home. I don't want any bloody politicians or paparazzi in here, no matter how used I am to catering At them. At least be here for your party. Damn it, Luke. The entire thing screamed, Luke, right. And I can't help but add another question to my growing list of quer queries. When did I lose myself? It's it's always about him nowadays, isn't it? What about Hannah Wright? Well, what about Hannah Evans? Yeah, I I used to be my own woman who made her own name, her own career, her her own, her own decisions. Yeah, see, since they started, um, since they were married, um, she she gave um, I I think their 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 company merged. 
and um, and Luke took care of things, and she just she became a stay-at-home housewife. Sure, I really had social butterflies um, today, but it wasn't all empty, shallow gossip and sitting pretty. It was all loaded for my knowledge and talent. Finance manager wasn't just handed to me, just because my father owned the company. Yeah. I decided that I had to start at the bottom so I could work my way to the top and prove myself, and it did, and I did. I worked numbers, managed budgets, money, and accounts, analyzing the competition and market trends. There was there was the calculation of financial risk, cost reduction opportunities, auditor li liaison, and public relations su supervision of the staff, and I generally had a slew of responsibilities. Admittedly, I already quite a, 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 a tenure seeker e even back there, d even having dedicated most of my youth. <sighs> Craving for my parents' approval. Failing that, I turned to others, looked for a praise from anyone who would give it, however, fleeing all it, it all was. And look, oh, look. The, oh, look. Oh, look. The way he looked at me, the way he watched me and took a genuine interest. He had me disgustingly obsessed since day one, hasn't he? He saw me for me, Hannah Evans, with both my faults and, and achievements. The man didn't treat me like some damsel in distress or some prize to be won. I remember the nights before we were married where we talked about everything and anything. From big things like businesses, society, and philosophy, to little things as what we had for breakfast or whatever we, or whether we like cats and dogs more. We, we both prefer dogs. Nowadays, I'm just Luke's, Luke Wright's wife. It's mostly, my f it's mostly my fault, isn't it? They told me that husbands prepare wives who are more docile, 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 or, and subordinate. A woman who will always be there for him, yet would never outshine him in all aspects except beauty. Wife needs to be at home and attend to it. Yeah, I think that's just the stereotype. And I, I think m nowadays that stereotype is disappearing since everyone's working. <laughs> To have children and to take care of them in his absence. They said I have no business working anymore. A a after I was married. I, I, I can't, yeah. You can blame society, yeah, and, but I listen, yeah. Before I can fall, fall further into this introspective spit of, it, 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 spit, introspective pit of self loathing, someone calls for my attention. The guests have arrived, madam. The guests have arrived. Yes, the guests have arrived. And Luke. Running a bit late, I'm afraid. <sighs> late for his own party. That man, I swear. He's probably looking to make a dramatic entrance, knowing him. Open the doors, then. We mustn't hurry. Okay, but before we, um, you know, before we do that, I'm gonna pause here, and I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed this, um, this episode. Uh, again, it... <laughs> This game is just full of dialogues, and that's a that's it. The thrills and chills are later on, as you're seeing right here. And I think we're gonna, and I think the next episode is gonna be the last one, since this is where we started and this is where we left off, and the and this and this were we're gonna. And this is what we're gonna do in the next um, video, the last part of Hannah's um, of Hannah's uh, story. So we'll do that in the next video. So hope you guys um, uh, stay tuned for that. So yeah, that's for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Share with your friends. Subscribe for more. The letter and some of the games. Again, I'm running this series with Super Seducer. Um, so yeah, and don't forget to click the bell to be notified of future uploads. I really appreciate all of your support. Um, leave a comment um, tell me what you think of this ep episode and uh, you know whoa yeah you know, so j just share your thoughts and so yeah and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching